Mary Meet, and welcome to a very special episode of The Broom. In this edition, we'll be visiting a sculptor named Joe Laudati. He lives locally, and we commissioned him to make the statuary for us of Caridwin Cernunus in the Elementals. We hope you enjoy seeing how he makes his magic. Hello, my name is Joe Laudati, and I've been asked by Lisa Stewart to come on The Broom and explain uh, my projects that I'm currently working on and my involvement with the, uh, the awareness shop. Um, I'm a professional figurine sculptor, and um, I was hired by the awareness shop to produce the original statuary line of their Celtic deities and other mystical characters. I have a long background in uh, animation, stop motion, special effects. I've worked, on, I've worked for the Broadway stage, and I'm also a published author. Um, but my specialty these days is working on professional prototypes of sculpting usually uh, fantasy characters and a lot of uh, characters famous from motion pictures and television. I also do a lot of work for toy companies producing uh, toy products based on superheroes from Marvel and DC. Here's an example of uh, the Incredible Hulk I'm working on for uh, Monogram's line of uh, Marvel superhero magnets. And over here you see a, uh, a bust in progress of Ray Harryhausen. He's uh, Hollywood's most famous special effects technician and the inspiration for much of my career, as well as the careers of many famous uh, Hollywood um, directors, artists, special effects creators, and whatnot. Harryhausen was uh, Hollywood's probably most famous stop-motion animator, which is he created puppets of creatures and brought them to life on film through stop-motion animation. Um, a lot of his films, the most famous among them were Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, Clash of the Titans, Jason and the Argonauts, Mighty Joe Young, One Million Years B.C., The Valley of Guanji, and many others. And you can see that this bust, which has been produced on commission with Blackheart Enterprises, is, uh, displays many of his most famous creatures, all sort of uh, in one montage tribute. Here we have Caridwin, the first of the line of uh, statues that I created for the awareness shop. Um, she's uh, the um, the witch goddess, you might call her. Um, she's very big in Celtic myth. And um, Lisa Stewart hired me to create what she felt was a, a very authentic and um, reverent portrayal of, of their uh, Celtic goddess. Um, I really appreciated this project because unlike a lot of my assignments, which are based either on movie characters or comic book characters, where I'm working off of a, an established likeness, I had the opportunity to create something here that's totally original. Um, we discussed every aspect of the figure from her costume to the positioning of her hands. It all has very mystical meaning um, to that faith. And I've been very... Um, kind of moved by the response I've gotten on this statue from, from Wiccans all over the country and even the world who have purchased this original statue and um, have expressed great admiration for it. Um, basically, Carriagewin is a, began as an original sculpture. This is a casting fully painted. This was the original sculpture that I started with. It's, uh, it's sculpted in gray, firm Sculpey, which is uh, the medium I mostly work in. Sculpey starts basically as a brick of gray clay. You mold it and eventually when it's completed you can bake it in an oven and that gives you a firm prototype master from which you can make a silicone mold and cast a resin copy. Every one of these carriage winds is, uh, is cast in resin with a, uh, a hydro stone plaster core. I have to make every one of them by hand myself. I assemble them, I clean them up, I paint them. So everyone, I guess, has a unique personal touch to it. After we completed Caridwin, our second figure was her male counterpart, Canunus. And this was a very exciting sculpture to work on because of all the intricate details that I had to put into it. Canunus is more of a mythological figure, and um, he's wild, and he's obviously very masculine. I, uh, I conferred with Lisa a great deal on this sculpture, determining all the various details on the figure, the talk that he's holding, the fact that he has antlers, um, the hunter and the hunted aspects. We've got all these animals on the base. 
It's also a much more complicated sculpture to assemble. Um, each casting has about seven points of uh, assembly as opposed to carriage when it's only got three. So I tend to spend a lot of time producing each individual casting of, of, uh, of Canunas, but um, I'm always impressed with the way he comes out. After Canunas, uh, we then went on to a series of elemental figures to complete the altar. So Lisa had me produce uh, one of each of the elements, each represented by a character. Um, the first one was the element of air, and uh, this is represented by the sylph or fairy. And um, I wanted to represent uh, the fairy sort of experiencing a great gust of wind to represent her connection to, uh, to air. And it's, these are painted in yellow because that is the corresponding color to that element. After air, we have a little uh, salamander or fire dragon. And um, that represents obviously the element of fire. Now for water, we have an undine, in this case a male undine. And um, you can see basically it's sort of like a male mermaid. Finally, we have the gnome, which is represented by a female. This is the element of earth, and you can see she's very wise and matronly, and she has a shovel for digging through the earth. So the complete set sells for about $125, which uh, when you consider the amount of hours that have gone into uh, designing, sculpting, molding, casting, and then cleaning up, assembling, and painting each individual set, is I, I think somewhat of a bargain these days. $125? Oh, is this big money, big money. Ah, oh, oh, guten Abend, uh, Herr mm -hmm. Ludwig. Uh, now me to introduce myself. My name is uh, Special Agent Herr Schepentecki Nurkov from the Statuary Technical Underwriters Physical Statuary. Inspection Directorate. I am here to find out of all these uh, statues that you make. Tell me, how do I make one? Um, how do you make one? Well, I mean, if you were paying attention, it starts as an original sculpture, and then we produce a mold from it, and from that we produce a polyurethane resin casting. Polyurethane, poly, 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 poly puts the kettle up, polyurethane. Um, what exactly goes into the uh, polyurethane? Uh, um, well, it, it's a very involved process. No, no, please tell me, I need to know this. Mm, okay, it, it is an AB product, the two uh, different uh, sorry, liquids. Uh, what? Um, it, the, it produces a, a, a resin plastic when you combine two products, two liquids. You combine them, you, and you pour them in. The liquids, yeah. And, and do I have to mix them? Uh, do you mix them thoroughly or must mix them thoroughly? Here at the Statuary Technical Underwriters Physical Inspection Directorate, we are absolutely so careful that you must mix this. We must know. We must know that you do this properly. Please, um, head another. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, what? Can you tell me that organization again? Because I. I'm Very well. The Statuary Technical Underwriters Physical Inspection Directorate. You know, I ask the questions all the time. It is we that ask the questions, okay. Ed Luddite. Well, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. I, I've never heard of your organization and... Um... I assure you, Herr Luddite, it is entirely... It's entirely... Um, it's entirely... Yeah. So, Mr. Luddite, um, if you wouldn't mind, please, de uh, please tell me how it is I, uh, sorry, how you make the statue, uh, specifically how you cast the statue. Uh. Okay, all right, well, well once again, I, I start with the original sculpture, and you can see, for instance, this is the original sculpture of our gnome. From this, I produce a two-part uh, silicone mold, which is basically, it's basically this, this is the mold for our gnome. Into the cavity of this mold, we pour a two-part urethane resin plastic, and that goes through a chemical reaction that produces a hard plastic. Like here's a here's a casting of a dinosaur that I sculpted, and you can see this is you know basically the raw product that I will then you know. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. We really hope that you've enjoyed this special episode of The Broom. It's pretty amazing to see all of the work and effort that go into making these beautiful statues. There's a long line to come, so keep checking back. Thanks again for watching. Blessed be.
bon jeu, mes amis. I'm the great French sculptor Scrulus Lettrec. I have been sculpting for longer than I can possibly remember, and my work has been exclusively exhibited at the Louvre in Paris since 1999. I have been approached by virtually all of the film studios in Bollywood to make the models for the films, as well as undertaking many commissions from both private patrons and the publishers of comic books alike. Recently, a number of young upstarts, such as Ray Harry Hasbisgit and Joe Ludat, have taken to copying my work, but as they say, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. So, if these young upstarts are watching today, they will have the opportunity to learn from a real master as I scoop for you my beautiful interpretation of the Welsh goddess R R R R the first step of the process is to use my artistic talents to craft a beautiful representation entirely by hand. As you can see, this is a very delicate and time consuming process. And there you have it the Welsh hot goddess Rianan. Sacre bleu, isn't she beautiful? Ah, huh? and the master, I tell you. And now we have to back the master in my specially designed and very expensive model, 3000 sculptors backing oven. Watch closely, mon ami. This part of the process is especially critical. It is important that we back the sculpture for just the right amount of time and temperature. <laughs> Get in there, come on, you can do it, little fiddly thing, I tell you. C'est fini, and now for the magical moment of the reveal, c'est voilà! Oh, I have an idea. Here we go. Uh, 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 come on, my little beauty. Uh, yes, there you go. Come on, come on. Uh, da, da, da. Ah, se voilà, my beautiful rendition of the Welsh Earth Goddess Rhiannon, which you can buy my beautiful unmade statue for just ninety nine ninety nine. Knock it off, knock off. <laughs>